Hi everyone, uh, my name is Ismail Nafi and I work for the UNICEF Global Innovation Center. Uh, in this screencast I will show you how easy it is to, um, to use Rapid Pro for conducting surveys. Um, as you know, there are multiple channels you can use uh, to collect data, such as SMS. Uh, but when it comes to collecting large amounts of data, SMS is not really the best way as there are too many interactions involved and also there could be delays in the network which can affect the data collection process. Um, so for collecting a lot of data in Rapid Pro, uh, you can use uh, the so-called Rapid Pro Surveyor app, which can run on an uh, Android phone or tablet. Um, for this screencast, I will use an example from Sudan. Um, UNICEF Sudan is interested in um, undertaking a cold chain inventory using uh, multiple questionnaires. Uh, one of the questionnaires they want to use is the one, uh, this one, the one you see here. Uh, so it's just to get some basic information about the uh, the uh, generators at different sites in Sudan. So as you can see here, there's some uh, information that needs to be collected on the region, uh, the uh, province, also the uh, health facility names in this case, some details on the generator, etc. So this is the uh, paper-based uh, form which uh, which they used, but they want to digitalize this and also try to get the information back to the uh, office as soon as possible using um, Rapid Pro and the Android Surveyor app. That, just a note, this is still in the pilot phase. So let me show you very quickly how this works. Um, let me take you uh, to uh, Rapid Pro. I already created a flow uh, reflecting all the questions uh, that we just saw in the paper-based um, form. Um, before I click there, I need to um, um, mention that if you create a flow or you want to use the surveyor, when, when you create a flow, you have to select um, here the channel which um, which indicates the surveyor. So if you want to run the flow over a survey, the surveyor app, you need to select this option. And once you do that, you will see this small phone appearing next to your flow. So if I click on uh, this flow, uh, it took me about 20 minutes uh, to create this flow. So as you can see here, I mean, it's quite basic, uh, but this is uh, generally for trained people, so they understand exactly what the questions mean. Um, so here we have the region, and then we wait for a response, and then uh, province, and then we wait for a response, etc. So the, all, the, the, all the questions are uh, reflected here. It looks quite lengthy, but it's not really something very complicated, because it's basically just uh, asking a question and um, um, expecting a uh, response. Um, yeah, so once you uh, finish your uh, f uh, survey of flow, one thing you need to do is to go to your account settings uh, here, so account details, and there is an option. Um, yeah, let me I open that that uh, box already. So this is your account details. There's somewhere at the bottom. Uh, once you click on that um, uh, here, so if you click on this, you can um, uh, set a password for the uh, survey. So anyone who um, downloads the app, which I will show you uh, in the, uh, after this. Um, as soon as you download the app, uh, you log in, you enter the password, in this case, enter password here, and you will get the flow automatically downloaded onto your app, and you can fill out the information and uh, submit, it, uh, submit it online. So now I will switch to my phone, where I will show you how that works. Okay, um, let me now show you how you can install the uh, Rapid Pro Surveyor on your Android phone. You go to Play Store, you search for Rapid Pro Surveyor, and once you find the, uh, the above application, you download it, you follow the instructions. And as you can see, uh, it's already installed uh, on my phone. So once you've uh, installed it, you can launch it, which I will do now. And the first thing, well, I, I created some uh, some test uh, email address, as you can see. Uh, but if you are new to the Rapid Pro Survey and you don't have a, an existing Rapid Pro account, you can just click on Create Account here. 
the password this is the one that that's provided to you by uh, uh, someone who created the flows or the questionnaires in the rapid pro account in the case of the um, of this particular demo you may re remember the uh, the questionnaire uh, for um, um, unicef sudan i set a password which i will enter here which means i can access the flow and it will be downloaded onto my uh, android phone so here i enter the um, uh, the um, the flow as you can see here it says unicef sudan piloting account so i can enter anything here it doesn't it doesn't really matter well i mean ideally you would want to enter um, a correct email address but for this demo purposes i'm just entering some some uh, invalid information it doesn't really matter um, and then the password you can set anything you want it doesn't again really matter and now i will see the uh, flow uh, which um, was created on the um, in the rapid pro account so if i click on the uh, questionnaires or the questionnaire i can start the flow and i can uh, start filling out information so the first one is region and then province etc so this this follows the exact same order as we've seen earlier in the flow and once you complete all the information you um, click submit and the information will be sent automatically to the uh, rapid pro account and you can restart the flow again if you're in a different location and you want to collect the same um, information again that's basically it Okay, I showed how to create a flow uh, which runs over a surveyor. I showed also how to download and install a surveyor on your um, Android phone and also how to use it. And now I will show you how the information will um, be displayed once it is uh, pushed back to uh, Rapid Pro. So here again, I opened the uh, same flow which I showed earlier. Um, so this is all uh, the information I've uh, I've asked. As you can see, it's quite lengthy, but it's quite straightforward. Now, if I want to see uh, the results, I can, for instance, um, um, download them and analyze them further if I want to. So here it will show some some brief information, but I'm more interested in uh, all the information that was collected by the surveyor. So I check here that. Um, um, well, you can. There are different options you can choose. As you can see, you can export only the results for contacts which have responded. Uh, also, all the messages that were um, um, exchanged between the system and the user, and also include all runs for each contact, which is very important if you have one contact co collecting uh, information on multiple locations, for example. So once I click OK, um, the um, my email address. Um, will be used to send a link uh, which allows me to download the results. I see uh, one email has come in already, which is this one. So now I can download the results, uh, download now, and I'll uh, save it on the desktop. And voila. So once completed, I can open it in Excel in this case, and I will see all the results that were captured by the system. Come on Excel. Let me out here. Yeah. Here we go. Um, so this is all the information that I submitted um, through the surveyor um, as response to the questionnaire which I um, I downloaded. That's basically it. So now you can do whatever you want with the information. So it's, um, again, I mean, it's very easy. You can set a flow in Rapid Pro. You can use the uh, surveyor uh, to collect information on the ground and it can happen either on or offline. Um, and once the information is sent back to Rapid Pro, you can either export it to an external dashboard or export it to an, uh, into an Excel file and do your further analysis. That's it.